Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Dave Adams with the Pulse TV here in Bend, Oregon, and we are at a place called The Common Table. And with me is Bob Pearson, the Hello. founder of this outreach. And uh, you're going to be watching this on the day after Thanksgiving, but today it's Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving. We're so excited about this day. Thanksgiving is a wonderful time at Common Table. It's a complete pay what you want day. It's all volunteers. Anybody that walks in the door gets a full Thanksgiving meal with no cost, but a lot of people pay. So if they want to pay $10, $20, $30, that covers the cost for everybody's meal. So with all of our volunteers, we have a wonderful experience of a, you know, turkey dressing, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, the whole nine yards. Now the Common Table Outreach is, it's really appropriate to have uh, people come in on Thanksgiving because of what you guys represent. Right, Th Thanksgiving is not that much different than other other days. Uh, some people come in and eat for free, some people come in and pay. So thanks, a lot of uh, uh, outreach programs or food kitchens or food pantries will serve people on holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, or whatever. We do that every day at Common Table. But this is a special day because uh, of the mix of people that come in and that support us. It's all volunteer, and we're excited about it. It gives us a chance to really show that in abundance, everybody can be taken care of in God's world. This is, this is a fabulous opportunity to experience that in a place like Common Table. What are you hearing from people today? What are people thankful for? People are thankful right now because they have jobs or that they have a house, they have a home, they have uh, their family with them on a Thanksgiving day. Uh, they have an ability to serve others. We have a lot of people that come here to serve others because that's what they want to do, is to help someone else. And they're thankful for that opportunity. And we give them that here at Common Table. So Bob, as people drive by the common table and they see the barricades out front because of some remodeling work being done in the front of the building, you're still open for business? Absolutely. Uh, the inside has not been affected at all. They're doing a facade change on the building. They've torn off an old stucco. They're actually cleaning up the, the old brick that was put up when the building was built back in the 30s and restoring that. So it's going to be very nice once, once it's finished. Uh, but it is impacting us right now. People aren't sure if we're open. People walk by and, and don't really want to walk through a construction zone. They go to the other side of the street. So it is impacting our ability to balance out the meals we give away with the meals that are being paid for. So we have gotten tremendous support from the community in terms of donations and volunteers and support. We received a couple of extra grants that helped us get through this difficult period. And the building owner has been very generous. They've given us a couple of months worth of rent relief as well to help us get through this construction period. So starting out, it should last through the end of the year. Uh, hopefully in the new year, we'll have a brand new look to the outside of the building, much more attractive. And then we'll be back on our steady growth opportunity again. Bob, what are you seeing for the need out there as far as people that are hungry, don't have jobs? And then conversely, we're talking to a lot of uh, social agencies that are seeing a perfect storm. The, the need is greater than ever before, but the resources in a lot of cases are lacking or simply aren't there. Now, no question about it. We're, we're definitely seeing more people out on the street. Uh, this time of the year, you'll see more people stay on street corners with their signs. Uh, the people on the street call that flying a sign. Uh, basically, you know, we, we would call that begging. Yeah. Um, they call it flying a sign. Now, that's their euphemism. Uh, they're out there. They're looking not just to get money for drugs or, or alcohol or whatever. Many of them are this time of the year are looking for money to rent a small hotel room, put four or five people into it, and stay for a couple of days or a week during the, the cold snaps. So, but uh, they also need money for food as well. So the, the food, soup kitchens are around at times, but there's never enough food. Uh, a lot of these people are on food stamps. I've heard that in, in Deschutes County, there's actually um, 20,000 people that are receiving the food stamps or the SNAP program as it's technically called. And that's a lot of people that need to eat, uh, that are below the poverty line, that are, have food insecurity issues. Uh, at Common Table, nobody goes away hungry. Everybody can always get a meal. We have our regular bowls that we rotate through and there's one every single day. Instead of an 850 bowl, it's free to anybody that walks in the door. Um, so we meet that need. Um, as far as the uh, uh, non other nonprofits in town, yeah. Part of the reason Common Table was established was that we wouldn't be a charity where we always took in donations and then gave it out to people. We would be a self-sustaining operation where some people come and pay and some people eat for free, some people volunteer, and some people are staff. But with that balance, we can make, make it work without receiving significant funds from outside. And we saw this, this perfect storm coming where the government's cutting back, institutions are cutting back, 
uh, private industry uh, uh, and, co and co companies are cutting back and individual foundations are being hit even more with demands. So they're having to cut back to meet the needs of the community. So that's going to continue. That's not going to stop given what we see happening in Washington and state legislatures. Everybody's broke. Nobody has money. But everybody eats. So if we can just capture a certain amount of that revenue that would normally go to a for-profit restaurant, it can help us feed other people every single day. You know, that's a unique business model, and we're talking to a lot of uh, people that were totally charities in the past that are developing uh, uh, sidebar uh, for-profit companies to help fund their ministries because they're seeing this perfect storm coming up, and they're looking for ways to be self-sustaining. Uh, exactly. Are you seeing that a lot in the in the uh, charity world and the people that are the outreach world? Uh, absolutely. We actually are tied into a network of about 20 nonprofit restaurants that are doing the same thing. Their goal is to feed everybody healthy, uh, sustainable food, but some people pay and some people eat for free or pay what they can. Uh, if actually, will this air on Friday? Yes. So Friday night on ABC World News Tonight with Diane Sawyer, there's actually going to be a, a, a little news report on pay what you want restaurants. And we took some video here at Common Table on Wednesday and sent it off to them at their request. So hopefully you'll hear about Common Table on ABC News on Friday night. How'd they hear about you? Uh, we're, like I say, we're connected with this network okay. of nonprofit restaurants and the uh, person that runs the foundation, they, ABC called them and they said, you gotta get video from Common Table. And so they called us and said, we want video. Did you provide the video? Yeah, we had the video shot here. Uh, uh, Pinnacle Media, Matt from Pinnacle Media came in and donated his time to shoot and edit the video and send it off to him. It's so, amazing. So we, we, we may be on uh, national TV Friday night. So this is a growing trend across the country. It is. It, it's a growing network. Uh, one of the kind of visible uh, ones that just opened is outside of Cam Camden, New Jersey, near Philadelphia. And John Bon Jovi just opened the John Bon Jovi Soul Foundation Cafe uh, as a nonprofit pay what you want cafe. So that's getting a lot of visibility because he jumped into this as well. Uh, there's also a corporate entity, Panera Bread, that's opened three what they call Panera Cares, pay what you want restaurants. One's in the Portland, in the Hollywood District, one's in St. Louis, and the other one's in Michigan. So in the old days, they used to call these soup kitchens, but now we're actually remodeling it, re rebuilding it, and uh, coming out with a new version, the modern soup kitchen. Right, and, and again, soup kitchen has a certain label of some people coming in to serve other people that need to be served. Right. Common table is really about everybody working together, sitting down at the same table together. Um, eating the same food together rather than one group serving another on a holiday and then walking away. We're here every day, our community's here every day, so we're building a network and a community more so than just feeding people. We're feeding their needs for food, we're also feeding their needs for a safe place, for community, for respect and dignity, which is, is in many cases for a lot of people on the street more important than just getting food. There's two different people to, uh, categories of people that can help you. People here in the local central Oregon area and people that are maybe across the country watching this video overseas. How can those two different groups help you? First of all, the local people and then the people out of market. Well, local people is basically three ways that you can most help us. One, come into Common Table and eat and drink. We even have a full bar. We have a you know, great beer on tap. We have great Oregon wines to sell as well as our food. So come in and eat. Secondly, you can uh, come and volunteer, help out and volunteer at Common Table. We do two-hour shifts, no skills required. You also can buy our tokens, $10 vouchers. You can buy them and give them out to people in the community, whether they're on the street or whether they're a friend or whether they're a coworker, to come and eat at Common Table. As a gift, as a birthday gift or Christmas gift, you can buy those. So those are three ways local people can help. If you're not in, in Central Oregon, you can go to our website, commontable.net, and we have a, a PayPal donation button that you can give us money and support us. All the money that comes in goes to tokens and free meals at Common Table. So Bob, today of course as we're recording this is Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity that we're still here. <laughs> uh, things got very difficult the last couple of months uh, yeah. financially uh, with the construction and we had great overwhelming support to help keep this going. Yeah. And I'm thankful for that. Okay, well thank you. God bless you for what you do. Thank you. Okay. I'm Dave Adams, Pulse TV. We're here in Bend, Oregon today. Happy Thanksgiving and happy belated Thanksgiving as you're watching this. You can make a difference in your community and as you look at the example of what the Common Table is doing here in Bend, Oregon, that's what they're doing here. Look for ways that you can make a difference wherever you live in whatever country you live because we together can make a difference. I'm Dave Adams with the Pulse TV in Bend and we're looking forward to coming to your community and finding out what's going on. Thank you.